doing research is very stimulating because you're just really trying to find out how do things work. I think this is something general no matter what you're doing research in, but uh, you just really want to work out sort of general rules. Uh, how, how is the, the system, which is the economy, working? And then I always have the motivation that I want to help, help people from my research. So uh, I, that's why I've been focused, as I said, on the labor market. I've been interested in unemployment because the unemployed are so unhappy. Um, I'm interested also in, in sort of equality and, and, uh, and seeing how you can help people who may be working but earning poor wages and so forth. Um, but there's the excitement of you get your data set and then you can immediately just start uh, doing a few statistics and finding out what's going on and uh, asking new questions and, and then you have the flexibility to, to investigate what, whatever you would like. So I was very excited to, to work in the Obama administration precisely because I, the reason I do the work, the research I do, it's, it's all policy relevant is because I'm hoping it will influence policy. But of course the best way to get it to influence policy is actually to go to the government yourself and uh, be able to do that uh, a lot closer to the actual policy. And in particular I was uh, excited about, I, I knew when I went there that uh, the immigration reform discussions were just beginning and so uh, I wanted to be involved in that. In the Department of Labor, I was uh, working on all sorts of labor-related issues. Uh, um, for example, uh, the uh, recent change in uh, regulation concerning overtime, the, the overtime premium in the US. It's actually a federal government law that if you work beyond 40 hours, you have to get 50% more per hour. Uh, that's just been changed, so it applies to a much bigger share of people. So my first papers were on West Germany, and, and, and that particular first paper was on the disincentive effects of, uh, of extending unemployment insurance, so, so Arbeitslosengeld in Germany, to see whether the effects were similar or quite different from effects that people had found studying the US. The SOEP data are really just marvelous data. They have been from the beginning because they were able to learn lessons from the panel study of income dynamics and really improve a lot of things. So right from the beginning, uh, it was just a really well-organized uh, set of data with an excellent set of questions. And then what really makes it stand out, though, is how innovative uh, the, the ZERP group has been in doing new things. So first of all, it was really amazing how quickly they got into East Germany and, uh, and got the first set of, of surveys from East Germany before the monetary union when things were still essentially under the communist system with some retrospective information about communism. And then more recently, I mean there's some other smaller things, but more recently all of these innovations like putting in the psychological questions, like having experiments being done, allowing people to design parts of the survey themselves and the innovation section, uh, these things are really just very, very unusual actually, even amongst, now there are more countries that have data sets like the German Economic Panel, but I don't think that they're nearly this innovative and new questions, new methods and uh, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm.